said that you are going to fast unto death. Uh, you have announced already. So, what is the reason that has compelled you to take such a drastic fall? I have given the government of India enough chances. I have also spoken to the people in the Congress. If they think that by delaying us and keeping us on hold, uh, we will keep quiet, then it makes no sense. I have lost everything. And uh, I think I have to show solidarity with my tribal people. They have given me everything. And I, people of Tiprasa people have become a joke. If today I cannot give up my life in luxury and stay in the national highway and fast unto death, if I have to die, I will die. But I will get something for my children. Time does not wait for anyone and we cannot be taken away. So yes, this is my way of telling the government of India, we are your children. You have spoken to everyone. You have spoken to us also. But why is there so long to take a decision? Either you want us or you don't want us. But make up your mind. Because our people are suffering and I cannot see my people suffer like this. When is uh, your uh, fast and We are going to meet, the entire party is going to meet tomorrow. And maybe in the next two, three days we will take up. Maharaj, what exactly your demands are? Because in writing, we want a constitutional solution. And that's the reason Mr. Mishra came down. That's the reason what uh, the government of India also agreed that there needs to be uh, further improvement of the constitutional status of the indigenous people. Our tribal people are landless. We have to, we don't have an option on which script to write an exam. So. We have only 2% of funding coming to the ADC areas while 35% of the people stay there. This is our land. We have to accept it. Maybe from any community, you have to accept. Tripura belong to the Tripuri people. Then why are they in this position? Why can't there be justice for our indigenous people without hurting other communities? I am not asking for people from Bangladesh to be thrown back. I am not asking people to uh, vote for my party so that we are asking for our basic constitutional rights. Economy, education, infrastructure, political rights, language, culture and a better future for our next generation. That's what we are asking for. Why can't the people give that in writing? Will it upset another group of people so much? If they say we will do good to you, then will it upset the other people? I don't think so. I think this is just politics being played. And who is playing the politics? All politicians play politics. I am not playing politics. If I had to play politics, I could have done a lot of politics in before the assembly election and even after. There has been no politics from other because I know that beyond politics, there is a community. And community has to always be bigger than the chat, than the politics. Where are the talks get stuck? I don't know, you'll have to ask the people. I mean, you have been in Delhi for so long and you have... Been... I was there for 10, 12 days. When? Nobody can accuse me of not trying. So, they have to make up their mind. And what, what about the Lok Sabha elections coming? What about Lok Sabha elections? Whoever gives us a constitutional solution in writing, we will support them. Whoever does not, we will not be with them. So your doors are open for all parties? My doors are only open to people who will give it to me in writing and assurance a constitutional solution.